Okay, linear programming problems involve finding the maximum and minimum values of some function subject to some constraints. Okay, the constraints are usually given in the form of inequalities. The first step to solving these problems is to graph the inequalities that are in the constraints. So we just want to restrict our attention to the overlap of all three of the inequalities. So let's start with x is greater than or equal to zero. x is greater than or equal to zero means that x can either be equal to zero, which is the y-axis, or x can be greater. So that's going to be all of this region over here. Now let's move on to y is greater than or equal to zero. y equals zero is the x-axis, and y is greater than zero means everything above it. So we're looking for the x-axis and everything above the x-axis, and that's the portion that's satisfied by the second inequality. Now finally, we have to graph the third inequality. So we start by graphing y equals 3 minus x. y equals 3 minus x has a y-intercept of 3. And when x is equal to 3, we have 3 minus 3, which is 0. So there's the line y equals 3 minus x. We want y to be less than or equal to 3 minus x, so we want all of these values. So now what we look for is the overlapping region, okay, the region that satisfies all of these. So we're looking for the region that has all three colors in it, and that is precisely this region right here. Okay, so that is the region that we care about. The next thing that we need to do is we need to find the coordinates of all of the vertices of the region. Well, this coordinate right here, this point right here, has the x-coordinate of 0, and it was the y-intercept of our line, so the y-coordinate is 3. Right there, that vertex has coordinates 0, 0, and finally, that point right there has coordinates 3, comma 0. Okay, so because the graph of this is a plane sitting in three dimensions, the maximum and minimum values have to occur at the vertices. So that means that the last thing we have to do to solve this problem is to take this function here and evaluate it at each of the three vertices. So let's start with this vertex. We have f of xy equals x plus 4y. So x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3. So we have 0 plus 4 times 3, and that's equal to 12. At this vertex, 0 comma 0, x is 0 and y is 0. So we have 0 plus 4 times 0, which is 0. Finally, at this vertex right here, x is 3 and y is 0. So we have 3 plus 4 times 0, which is equal to 3. So to find the maximum value of this function subject to these constraints, we're looking for the highest of the numbers. So the maximum is going to be 12. And to find the minimum value of this function, we're looking for the smallest one of these function values, and that's going to be 0. Okay, so the answer to this problem is that the maximum is 12 and the minimum is 0. Okay, here's a problem for you to try. Why don't you press pause while you work on it? Okay, so x is greater than or equal to 0 is this region here. y is less than or equal to 0 is going to be this region down below. And finally, y equals x minus 1 is going to be this line here. 
but we want y to be greater than or equal to x minus 1. So that's going to be all of this region up here. So we see that the overlap of all three regions is going to be this little triangle right here. Okay, so what we want is what we, what we want are the vertices. This one right there is at the origin, so that's 0, 0. That one right there is the y-intercept of this guy right here, and that's negative 1. So when x is equal to 0, y is negative 1 there. And that is the x-intercept of this, and that's the point 1, 0. So we have all three vertices, and now we just evaluate the function at all three vertices. Okay, so at this vertex, we find that the function value is 0. At this vertex, it's equal to negative 2. And at this vertex, it's equal to 5. So the minimum value of the function, subject to these constraints, is negative 2. And the maximum value of this function, subject to these constraints, is 5. So that solves the problem.